Aquí. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's look is going to be on this tutorial, on this eye tutorial, and some face makeup. I used the Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadow uh, Holy Grail palette today, which looks like this. This is, this is such a great palette. I highly recommend it. It's so pretty. The colors are pigmented, buttery, blendable. The price is good for all of the shadows that you get in the palette. Um, so yeah, if you don't have this palette, go pick it up. I will link the palette down below to her website. And so yeah, I guess if you guys want to know how I get this makeup look, keep watching. So I'm gonna take the MAC Painterly Pod, and this is in the color Soft Ochre. And then just taking it on a little fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply that to my eye area. And today I'm going to be using the Violet Boss Holy Grail, Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadows, the Holy Grail one, which looks like this. And I'm going to take the transition color, this one here, on a Sedona Lace Fluffy brush. And I'm just going to set everything and well just all over your eye and kind of just setting the primer then just taking this real techniques 203 brush I'm going to take the color, are you kidding me? This one here. And I'm going to take it in the crease area. So now I'm just going to go in with a precise blending brush. And I'm going to take the color wine and dine which is this color here and i'm gonna start on the outer crease area and i'm kind of just going in circles and then dragging it a little to the middle i'm not going in all the way And then I'm taking whatever very little product is left on the brush and taking it a little bit in. And just make sure to blend everything. Then just going in with a more flat brush. This is from e.l.f. And it doesn't have a name on it. I'm gonna take the color hashtag, this color here, and I'm going to apply that all over the lid area. And then going in with the blending brush, 
I'm just going to diffuse any harsh lines. Then with this smaller shading brush, I'm gonna take the color Teddy Bear. This one here. And taking very little of that, I'm just going to apply it to the crease area to deepen up the look. Like that. Then just taking this MAC pigment. It's a MAC, MAC glitter. It's gonna fly everywhere. I've used it before and oh my God. So just taking this flat brush that has no name on it, I don't even know who makes it. And I'm just going to wet it with Fix Plus. And so just taking it on the flat brush, I'm going to add very little to the inner lid area. So now I'm just going to go in with eyeliner and I'm going to use the Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D and this is in the color Trooper. So I'm just going to add a wing to the look. And so what I do to get a wing is I follow the bottom, the bottom, um, the bottom lash line where it ends and then just flick a little line up. Like that. And then I will draw a triangle. So like that. And then just so it basically it's all hollow like that and then I just fill it in and I fill it in with the Revlon with the Revlon color stay this is in the color black as well and so I just take that and just fill it in. So basically just like that. And then I'll just fix whatever needs fixing with the with the Kat Von D one. So then just gonna go in on this side. So then now I'm just going to take the wispy lashes from Ardell, ones I always use. So while I wait for that glue to dry on the lashes, I'm going to apply some shadow to my lower lash line. So I'm gonna just gonna use this little, I'm sure this is like for your eyebrows, I don't know. It's from Sedona Lace. And I'm gonna go in to the color, are you kidding me? That one. And I'm just going to apply that color all over my lower lash line. Then going in with the color Teddy Bear, which is this color here, it's upside down, which is this color here on the same brush, just to add some depth. Then 
then taking the color wine and dyeing that red color that we have, this color here, on the same brush, I'm gonna apply some of that as well. Then taking the hashtag color, this color here, I'm gonna apply a little bit of that to the middle area. So just like that, and then just go ahead and do the same to the other side. So now I'm gonna go in with the false lashes, and I'm just taking them on a on some tweezers. And you just want to keep them as close to your lash line as possible. So now I have the lashes on and I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. So basically just like that. I don't add mascara to the lower lashes until I'm done with all my face makeup. So I'm going to take the color Thanks a Latte and just highlight under the brow area and then get started on my face. So this is what your eyes look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in into my face makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So now I'm going to go in with uh, foundation. And this is the first time I'm going to be using this. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. We're going to see how this works. So I bought the color... I don't even know what that says. I think it says that right there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I don't know what it says. So just dotting it all over, I'm going to just take my beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, and work that into my skin. The coverage on this foundation is so good. Like, so good. I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer, which is the Naked Skin Concealer. This is in medium light neutral. And then just taking it on a the pointy side of my damp beauty blender, I'm going to just push that product in. I really like this foundation. So now just going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder, I'm gonna just set my concealer area. Take it on the damp beauty blender, the little pointy side, and just apply it to the bottom area here. Cause I will crease and I do not bake underneath 
my eye area just because it starts looking really dry and I do have some lines under there. So I take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette which looks like this and I take the middle color and I'm just gonna warm up my face. I just take it on this little Sedona Lace FB05 brush. And so just taking that middle color, I'm just gonna bronze up the face. And I take this little 300 Real Techniques brush and I take that banana color in the middle and I just take a little bit to add a little brightness to my under eye area. Now I'm going to take the Becca and the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette and I'm going to take this blush color here. It's such a pretty color. I think that one's called Rose Spritz. And I just take it on a Real Techniques uh, cheek brush. So just taking it like that. And I just add that to my cheek area. And I'm just going to blend it with a blending brush. Then I take the Anastasia um, A23 brush and I apply some Fix Plus to it, very little of it. And I'm gonna take the color Prosecco Pop. It's the new color that she made with Becca. And I just take that all over the brush and apply it. And I just take that and apply it to the high points of my cheekbone and then I take some champagne pop and add a little bit of that on top of it. Down to the cupid's bow and a little bit on the tip of the nose. Very little. And now all we have left is lips. I'm going to use the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the color Stepping Out just because I've really been liking this color lately and the formula as well. And just adding the Nude Rimmel London waterliner into your waterline to give your eye some brightness. So that's it guys, this is the final makeup look. Everything that I used in the video will be linked down in the description box below. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much if you watched the whole video. Make sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, and pretty much that's it, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.